Hello everyone, this is Tom from Kudosol.com. Today I'm going to do a review video that I mentioned about three weeks ago. I said I'm going to do like a two weeks of wearing these yogi shoes in front of me, uh, but I took another week because I just wanted to try out a bit more. So I wore these through some concerts and just a trip in, in Cardiff as well. But when I went to work, obviously I couldn't wear these because these are not like business casual. These are more... Uh, more and more just casual rather than like office appropriate but I wore them on the weekends I wore them when I was going for like a trip to a shop uh, nearby my house etc so I wore them as much as I can it was like a mini dome let's say but I wanted to try out the negative heels uh, which are the features of these shoes I have explained that in my previous video but just to quickly explain to you about the yogi shoes these are so the yogi footwear is from the UK uh, they make various of shoes in the UK and then they were popular between celebrities um, and then they relaunched it quite recently the most of their shoes are made in Portugal and the negative heel that I mentioned is something that they push a bit more so the reason that I wanted to try a negative heel or negative heels on, uh, on the shoes is because I've been wearing a lot of boots with a tight ankle support and I do also tighten my shoes very tight uh, something from the army habits I guess and it's not like high heels like women's shoes but they still do have quite high heels so that it gives great arch support and etc so I felt like my calves were not getting stretched enough I do go to gym a lot and I do try to stretch as much as I can but I just wanted to try them out and then something would if, if that's gonna make anything difference for a posture obviously three weeks is not gonna change anything uh, but but just wanted to show you guys and let you guys know how what my experience was so the model that you see here is called Lennon Lennon has a stitching in the middle that goes through like this and these are with uh, a beige colored suede um, because I've been war wearing these outside, it's it got a bit dirty, which is fine. It's just way I gotta clean them up very nicely. Um, and the linen, I don't know if it's you know inspired by John Lennon, but it's the same spelling as linen. Um, for those who do not have time, in short, these are interesting at first, a bit unique. You need to get used to it, and I think my calves did get to stretch a bit more. Uh, compared to when I was wearing, I don't know, white boots or Nick's boots that has like high heels and like very rigid ankle support. As I've said, I've worn these to um, like a festival concert in Cardiff and then stand it around for three hours and walked around for a long time too. But surprisingly, like I didn't have any discomfort with these with these shoes. Like I think because the soles are very comfortable, they're like rubbered and the upper is obviously very supple and and soft basically it didn't require any break in and it was very very the shoe itself was like very soft and and yeah my, my feet didn't hurt which was a good thing and a, a surprising thing I was expecting my feet are gonna ache but it didn't so it's good and the outsole it won't, when you when you wear them it's it's quite bouncy so it's it's very comfortable as well well, the negative heels is very interesting at first. Um, you can see from the camera right now that, that the shoes are supposed to be, this is zero degree heel drop maybe, but this is like five degree uh, negative heel drop and it's more like the heel side if it's like this. Um, but when you walk around, people are not going to notice. It's not very, like a, it doesn't look different from other shoes because it's a, not a drastic difference. It's more supple one thing i noticed is that every step i took uh, my calves did feel it was stretching a lot more and especially when i was going down the stairs i could literally feel my calves are more engaged or like stretched compared to when i was wearing heeled shoes i was afraid that the outsole are going to be slippery um this is after three weeks of wear it did wear down quite a bit but not as much as um uh, I expected because it just felt very weak so I, I thought it was gonna wear them a lot but it could be worse could be worse um, just it's up to you that if you think this is a lot or not obviously but I thought it was gonna be slippery because of is you know there's not much grip you can see some rid, uh, 
ridges around here. The rest of the outsoles have a bit of a texture as well, so I thought it was going to be slippery. Uh, but it wasn't surprisingly on normal surface. I did have a time uh, it was a bit slippery on the um, wet like a tile in, in the station. Uh, but I think any types of shoes are going to be slippery in that environment, not going to lie. One thing also I want to say is that the upper is not is, is too soft in my opinion and there's no structured toe either and it did stretch out a bit not too much but I don't know if you can tell but it did stretch out a bit so it doesn't give you like a secured uh, fit if you prefer if you prefer something like that maybe uh, you can try out their other models in different types of leather but the suede is too soft and I would say it's comfortable for sure but if you want a more secured fit, I, I wouldn't recommend you to go with suede. The heel counters are pretty interesting too. There's like two rows of extra stitching here and just not another panel of leather here. I guess it's to, I don't know if you can tell from the shoe tree, it's to like hold your heel properly, I guess. Uh, it's, it's a bit weird and I thought that it was designed to like be collapsible. But it wasn't like that because of the um, aggressive stitching here. It's it's like uh, it goes up a bit, so it was not comfortable when you step on them. It was, it was, I think it's just to hold your um, uh, heel a bit better. And there's some logos here and single rows of stitching everywhere on the heel counter as well. So hopefully it lasts a long time. But there you go. The insoles. The insoles on the shoes are um, just this veg tan leather and I didn't find any discomfort with the insoles. Uh, it would have been nicer if it had a bit more a, of an arch support because I, I am a person who, who requires that of my, because of my flat feet. Um, but unfortunately it doesn't have a lot of arch support. The sizing on these are UK 11. I don't, I don't exactly remember, but on their website, I think they say um, size down a bit from my vague memory. Um, but I took the same size as my just re regular Nike sneakers or Adidas sneakers, uh, UK 11 EU 45. And I, yeah, I'm true to size EU 45, usually wear a European size 45 as well as UK 11. And my Brunox size is between 11 and 11 and a half, and my, my width is between D and E, American D and E. It's between standard and wide, and these were really good because of the um, monsoon kind of like an anatomical kind of a, um, shape of the, of the forefoot of the shoes. But yeah, that's also something that I wanted to mention because of the wide last they have used to make the shoes. Uh, or like Monson kind of like anatomical kind of shoes because um, I do have like a flat feet that goes like out a bit. It was very comfortable. I uh, didn't have any discomfort on my pinky toe. Just that's where I usually um, get stress um, if I wear narrow shoes, uh, but didn't have any of that. So it was very, very comfortable for me as well in that sense. The price point on these Yogi shoes are 160 pounds on their website. And these were currently, when I was filmed, filming this video, are on sale at £80 online. Personally, I think they're worth more than the sales price um, in terms of like 80 maybe to £100 in, in this inflation, I would say. But I wouldn't pay £160 uh, for these. Um, obviously, everyone's economic situation is very different. Uh, what you think is cheap might not be for others, etc. But I personally wouldn't pay full price for these. I would wait for them to go on sale as they do go on sale quite often. You can find them in a lot of stores in the UK as well. So if you're interested, uh, yeah, go ahead and have a look. Uh, this was just a quick review of these shoes. Now I'm going to move on to my next pair of shoes that I'm going to review very shortly. Anyway guys, this is Tom from Kudasol.com. If you have any questions about Yogi Shoes, please leave a comment. I will read and reply as much as I can. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel. If you have any feedbacks from me as well, don't be shy to uh, leave any feedbacks. Anyway guys, thank you. Bye bye.